Yes, we're all bee management on the second story of a home where there's bees in the chimney. Because of the type of chimney cap they have here and the complex blue top cap, we've decided to go through the stucco. And we've also decided not to use a smoker to show you the type of activity that is known in uh, Southern California and Arizona as far as aggressive bees and uh, Africanized bees. The bees that we're dealing with today are of a super, super nature of uh, aggressiveness. Um, before the cuts were even started, they, the bees came out and uh, uh, started attacking us. And after the cuts have started, uh, a lot of the swarm that was inside us came out, as you can see. Uh, against my glove, you can see uh, how, many how much activity is going on and in front of the lens. Right now, the bees are all over the camera, all over both our suits. We've had to tape up our gloves to our elastic wristbands just to make sure they don't climb in because they were trying to go up our sleeves and um, also uh, it's a dangerous environment because we are on a second story as you can see and so uh, for your enjoyment we're not using a smoker uh, Dave's gonna go ahead and finish this cut and he's gonna pull out the, uh, the stucco and we're gonna see what we have inside What we do is when we make these cuts, we do them really clean so we can reuse uh, the uh, pack if possible. Also, we try to avoid damage and uh, of the stucco. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, usually, there is uh, a color coat, a brown coat, which is the heaviest coat, a scrap coat. Which is laid on top of uh, the paper and wire, and that holds. That's usually the process. And what Dave's going to do is he's going to use the pry bar from the top and pull it towards him a little at a time and break it loose, so we don't lose the piece of the stucco inside uh, the chimney. Uh, sometimes we have to use smaller ones uh, as far as uh, pry bars to get in between the cut. Up here. You can see the activity. Uh, as we're working and standing here talking with you and sharing this experience, our suits are getting stung thousands of times. And before we leave, there'll be a lot of dead bees on the ground because of it. Um, in this case, we're just using maintenance uh, uh, jacket that is used in the beekeeping business uh, for quick maintenance and inspections. We probably should be wearing a full suit to protect. But what we do is we wear high top boots as well as uh, buy our pants longer so they fit snugly, they lay against the boot so it makes it harder for the bees to go that way. Normally they always thought the face at the top where uh, most of them our, our aroma, if you will, and uh, uh, you might end up having to uh, make a deeper cut and go beyond the corner with the finger because sometimes the wire is still connected. Large. 
unfortunately we don't get paid by the pound. So this, we'll have a next segment coming up on the removal process after we make more cuts. Again, this is all bee management. And we are a bee removal company serving Southern California and Arizona.